the most hypocritical nigga that's on this atmosphere right now. My son, come and have a seat. My son, this is a video that was desperately overdue and that I needed to do a minute ago about you. My son, the activist, the quote-unquote thug YouTuber, the quote-unquote hero, Black Lives Matter champion, my son, the guy that wins debates by trying to outdo people and using other masses for his so-called backings to trump what you had to say, my son. My son, there's, there's a narrative about you that I tried to get away from from the longest time and standpoint. There's been an outcry of people out here calling you out, brother. And you're no brother of mine, and I'm going to put it to the degree. I see you get your ass up on this internet thing and call everybody out. You were the guy that called Rick Ross a snitch. He's working with the police. I remember that when Q was alive. Rest in peace to Q from World Star. One of my zoes up in this piece. I remembered... You went out your way relentlessly to put pressure on rappers, which you still do now. You speak about this code that those don't, don't even exist in the hood. And I feel like it never even existed in the first place because your dumb ass went to go do 10 years because you and your homies robbed a taxi driver, a cab driver at it. I know, I know the story. You didn't do it, but you took the 10 years for some other niggas. Well, what I got to see from it, you got a lot of F-boy homeboys. So that you're the definition of why the street codes don't work and never existed and it's some bullshit. But we're not going to get into that right now. We can easily get into your 10 years run. I'm not trying to do that. I'm out here to speak. Why haven't you made these messages and these relentless videos for all the youngsters out here who got killed? The Jasmine Adams and a whole lot of other people. I have yet to see you speak up the way you speak up about everybody else. The Bronx situation where the idiots started shooting indiscriminately and them two youngsters was right there, beautiful little females, and he still shot indiscriminately, not worrying about ricochets or nothing if them girls got hit. You guys never have emotions for shit like that. But let you come and tell it. I'm supposed to be more worried more about an idiot cop than I am about my brothers who every day take me out and everybody else that look like me. That's what you're telling me to worry about. You have yet to speak about the founders of Black Lives Matter. You have yet to speak about the multiple million dollar mansions that we all got to be seen displayed in all these publications. You ain't called none of that out yet because you get paid by them. You're an F boy. Everything about you. I ain't going to make fun of your lips. None of that. I'm making fun of your character. Not even making fun. I'm telling you exactly who you are. I don't attack people over here. We don't target individuals over here. We follow the YouTube guidelines, educational purpose. I'm out here just to tell the truth about a public figure because that's what you are now. A failed battle rapper who want all, all of us to give you some type of clout for doing 10 years for, behind some fuck shit. Educational purpose. Purpose. That's what you did. You did 10 years for being an idiot on these streets. Let's never forget about that part. You did 10 whole years for being an F boy in these streets. I'm the bravest one. On, and it's not even bravery to tell you the truth about yourself, boy. Everything about you is BS. Everything that you speak out here. I don't believe in the counter culture. I never did. I would never say you're canceled. But every time you speak out, I see some F boy in my camera in the way. There's nothing you brought to the community, bro. Let me just let you know the truth. You've been a hand wan bandwagoner. You follow the movement because you knew if you followed it passionately, you can make a name for yourself in an open community that's a victimization community. If you let people more know how they're more victims and all this and that, people trump you as the hero. People build you up about something that you never were and never stood for. You never did. You can't get it two sides of the field, nigga. Pick one. You an activist or you a gangster? Pick one, my knee grumps. I can't listen to your rhetoric every day. You put yourself in a conundrum situation, bruh. You're half-assed. One minute you're preaching about, we need to go do this, this way. The next minute you're preaching about going, do, going, going to do some real street nigga type shit. And you can't. Everybody who's from this community of, of ours, no, you can't have both. You can't still trying to be a cool ass nigga preaching about X, Y, and Z while still trying to be this way or that way. You can't, my nigga. 
it got to be either this way or that, bro. You don't get to pick both sides of the corn. You just don't. Niggas like you are Burger King ass niggas, bro. A fast food have it your way type of brother. That's who you are. You speak bullshit every single day. Then you have this core following. And the core following doesn't even know what you do. I ask and implore everybody, tell me what does my son does. Y'all gonna tell me he's an activist. He does something for the community. I'm gonna be the one to tell y'all the truth and y'all could even put this with me. A motherfucker that gets up on the camera and speak every day, even if he's speaking good for you or not, it does nothing for you and I if it doesn't bring the work. It doesn't bring the resource. It doesn't bring any of that but another hot take and a bullshit speech. That's it. Obama is the prime example of that. One thing about us, we love a brother and sister that could preach their ass real good. And if anything, the church has have shown me that's all we love. A beautiful speech. A speech that doesn't bring the work. It doesn't bring the change. It doesn't bring anything. And you're going to tell me what am I doing? I don't feel like explaining because I'm not on this camera shit saying I'm trying to change the world. Saying I'm a fucking activist. And that's your problem. When one of y'all fake activists get called out, y'all look at a brother like me or a sister like y'all and be like, what are you? you doing even though my work is on this camera not a bullshit my son work i got nothing but work with my physical hand giving out and giving back to the people big facts not just that spending my time on um, being a mentor to kids out here on the camera and off the camera big facts not just on youtube preaching a lot of my videos got flagged because i did things like that but y'all don't speak about that because i'm not a my son out here getting on the camera black lives matter but what has he done for black lives matter he actually used his platform to call out people that he calls being matter big facts you guys don't call that out my son uses platform to knock down anybody he disapproves of that has nothing to do with the community. If he doesn't like you, he'll use his Black Lives Matters following to make you a monster, to make everybody against you and to what, quote unquote, cancel you. Where is all that money my son is being paid by? He's getting paid by the same people who do nothing and watch the destructions of the communities they claim they preach about. Claim they preach about. My son is a puppet. My son is nothing, has never been something out here. You're going to get mad at me because I'm preaching the truth right now. I'm not speaking garbage. I'm speaking unadulterated facts that you guys are not accustomed to anymore and not used to anymore. And that's the sad part. A lot of people let this go as a he say, she say situation. Let bygones be gone bygones because he speaks good. He's backed by a group of people that you guys look up to, even though that group of people are damn near a terrorist organization. Because they say nothing and help nothing and take away from the communities, the very own communities that they claim they're helping. And they take that resource and give it back to the people that's destroying your communities. Destroying your communities. But, but let's trump up my son as a hero. My son's an F-boy and you hear me saying that. I don't hide my face. I don't apologize. My sons are the devil people who inf infiltrated the communities that I always eloquently speak about. The people who do nothing and take everything away. And they're going to continue to do that if you guys say nothing and do nothing. Look, man, I'm your God bless one, man. Love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed. Make sure you hit that like button because I know y'all sitting back like, about time. About goddamn time somebody say something.